Okay, this week's letter, D, digestive tract, one of my all-time favorite topics. Essentially, your body is one big food processor. If we wanna think through eating a piece of, let's say, Dave's Killer Bread. So good, by the way. Essentially, the process starts with chewing. The chewing breaks down the bread into smaller pieces. These smaller pieces then travel, obviously, through the esophagus into the stomach. Then they reach the small intestine. The small intestine is essentially the MVP of digestion. So basically, the small intestine contains enzymes, which are basically in charge of acting like scissors of sorts to cut the pieces of bread into even smaller, more digestible pieces. A fun fact is that each of the macronutrient categories, so your carbohydrates, your fats, and your proteins, different enzymes are assigned to each of those categories to help break them down. From the small intestine, after the enzymes cut them into even tinier pieces, they are then these pieces of the Dave's Killer bread that you've eaten that your body's trying to utilize for energy. They are then absorbed out of the small intestine and into the bloodstream. At least those are that, that are going to be utilized for energy. The ones that are not, such as certain fibers, which cannot be digested by the body, these are then passed from the small intestine through the large intestine and then out of your rectum. By the way. However, those smaller pieces of your Dave's Killer bread that are going to be utilized for energy are digested out of the small intestine and into the bloodstream, where the blood then carries them to all different organs of the body. So your body relies on glucose for energy. That is your body's main source of energy. And all of your organs rely on that, especially your brain. It's a, it's a glucose guzzler, if you will, because everyone likes a, a good alliteration. So we need to make sure that our body has a constant and balanced supply of energy and glucose. The reason is because when glucose and energy are not reaching areas of our body, such as the brain, things like our memory and our focus can really be impaired.